Hey everybody, we have had some requests to see a more in-depth look into the yellow car. So that's what this video is. I'm going to walk around it, look inside it, and then we're going to put it on the scales and see how much it weighs. Enjoy the video. All right, so here it is. First things first, um, it is, like I said, stock suspension, uh, stock strut tower, stock frame rail, Firewall is in the stock location, hasn't been cut out. Um, it is a small block motor, small block Ford. It's about 390 cubic inches, somewhere in there. Um, it does have a nice set of cylinder heads on it by BVI. Um, but as you know, with street racing, you can't really use all the power um, that comes with a high horsepower application. So, um... The fenders, all steel, it's all steel. There is no carbon or uh, fiberglass up here. It's all stock OEM body panels, uh, stock wheelbase, um, front to back. Um, again, nothing's really cut out in the front per se. Um, has a radiator, you can barely see it down in there. <clears throat> Uh, moving in to the uh, back part of the car, still has the stock Cobra wing on it, and I'll open the trunk here. Trunk release is, actually trunk release is right there. This is the charging ports for the battery, and there's the trunk release, so it makes it easy for me to open this up and uh, get back here in the back. Fuel cell... Um, in Mexico, we put some weight in the back. These are my weight uh, mounting points. It does have two batteries in it. Um, for that reason, in case we have to drive a little bit, we can drive. And um, I haven't put the alternator back on. I do have a 16-volt alternator, but I haven't put it back on. Um, one thing to note um, that's kind of unique on this car is uh, with the turbo, we don't use... CO2. Um, we use an air tank, which is right there. And that air tank is what provides air to the wastegate, controls the turbo. So basically, we never run out of pressurized air to control the wastegate. And also, I can air up my tires if I need to. There is my uh, little air hose there. I can pull that out and I can put air in my slicks if I need to. So that's pretty cool. But um, stock frame still right down there. You can barely see it, but it's still right there on the bottom side of the wheel tub on both sides. So it does still retain the stock frame. Um, let's see. Let's move inside the car. And I'll show you some stuff there again. All It's all stock. Stock. Uh, roof. Roof. Stock. I mean, everything on this car is stock. Uh, let me hop in here real quick. Apologize. Video is going to shake momentarily. All right. So here we are inside the car. Um, stock dash. Seats are pretty much in the stock location. Um, I have removed the back seat back there. You can kind of see that. It's no longer there, but that's about all that's been removed. Um, it still retains the factory dash, uh, like I said, instrument cluster in there. Um, that is the stock Cobra instrument cluster. Um, this is now the dash I use. It's a Holly dash. It has all of my information on it there. So I don't use the dash back there anymore. None of those gauges um, give me information that's usable. They're just kind of there, um, for, sh for show, I guess. I mean, this, that's the stock cluster that came with, with this car. So, um, as far as the doors go, I mean, it's got electric windows and yes, that is glass, not Lexan. So both, uh, both windows roll up and down. Um, what else? Mirrors, they still all operate, all that fun stuff. It's got a radio in it. Um, right there's the radio. 
Um, gosh, there's my switch panel right there. Turn everything on. But yeah, it's pretty much, I mean, stop car for the most part inside here. Center console, cup holders, everything's there. Door panels. Um, put the steering wheel on. Everybody makes fun of my steering wheel. I guess it's something that you would see in a 1985 Camaro, but that's okay. Those are cool cars too. Um, but yeah, so this is my office when I'm racing. This is what it looks like. All right, guys, so I showed you the inside under the hood in the back. Now I'm going to show you how much this thing weighs. I've already got it jacked up. I've got the scales ready to go under the tires right here. Um, you can see I took the weight out. The weight bars aren't in there. No weight plates, nothing like that. Um, show you back here. You might be able to see, but um, there's no, I, I mean, there's no weight in the back or anything like that. It's just kind of how the car would sit if we were racing at the track. So uh, I'm going to sit y'all down real quick. Here's the zero on this. I'll sit it right here. And what we'll do is I'll get in the car and show you how much this thing weighs with me in it. So I'm going to sit y'all down. Let me get this down on the scales. All right, Oop. Get under there. Let's sit in the car and see where it's at. Oh, all right. Any guesses? Any guesses? All right, you got five seconds to think of what you think it is. With me in it, ready to go down the road track there you go right there she's a heavy old turd folks all right so there you have it 3313 is the weight that is ready to go down the road ready to race um it's heavy like i said so there you have it, folks. There is your in-depth look at the yellow car. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it very much. Be sure to subscribe, share, tell all your friends. I'll be trying to load more videos on this YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye.